Look at you over there. We're going to have some crypto's juiciest news today. Bitcoin at a whopping 72,000 American dollars. And of course, we are still waiting to see, is that magical triangle going to hold or not? Now, if you check it out, friends, there is a magical triangle going on. I've drawn it many places, but pretty much the entire crypto industry has this drawn out. They've got this big triangle here and, you know, this is normal TA stuff. You're coming up, oh, we're going to move. We're going to move. But look, friends, I'll just tell you right now, I've got so much PTSD. It's not even funny from just trading in crypto. I'm just, I'm telling you now. <laughs> and I look, I hope this happens. I really hope we get this magical triangle destruction to the upside and we go, yay, we're at 90K. Oh, look, I, I really want that. It's just that I've just seen so many of these. They're like this. They pop the high. All the weekends are in. They've got everyone stopped out. And you, like, no, no. You know what I mean? It's still good. It's still good. That's pretty much what I've seen time and time and time again. However, it's now a bull market. Is that just PTSD from watching these things fail over and over again? That's why, look, we stay long. Just got to remind you, everybody else out there, like, subscribe, belly button, and keep your back straight. Even though we're skeptical of every move, that's just to help us with identifying the final moment when it's too euphoric. When the market valuations are so extreme, we're not there yet. But to get there, you need to practice along the way. You can't just basically be like, you know what? I'm bullish, I'm bullish, I'm bullish. Switch, I'm, I'm now bearish. It doesn't happen like that. There's a process, okay? And we want to make sure that we nail it to the T, friends. We want to see this because, look, when you see end of cycle stuff, it's actually not enough to sell and take profit. The next part is actually also difficult. It is to walk away and not buy as these things go down. Because prices that you thought were cheap six months ago, they are now expensive for the next year. Okay, just like when Bitcoin, if you go back, you can actually see it on the chart here. We were watching Bitcoin at 50 to 60K. Once it came down here, friends, once it came down to this point where Bitcoin was going down here, it was back down to 41. And then like 36, people were literally saying, well, anything under 40K is a steal. You get to buy Bitcoin under 40K. You get a free 3X from, from 35K back to near 100. But guess what? That was actually expensive for the next freaking year and a half. All right, and that's just Bitcoin. You got to remember a lot of altcoins still haven't recovered to this point. This point is March 2022. As you know, HEX was 19 cents there. So HEX is literally a freaking 19X away. It's like 17X now. 17X away from that point. You see how dangerous it was, how absolute bloodbath to just leave bids in there because that's why it's important. If you're identifying these signals as they appear, right, now you're aware, go, you know what, the market is going to like keep going lower and lower. It's a downtrend, but these prices aren't actually cheap yet. We need to see blood first. And if we look to the weekly chart, this is the weekly super trend. We have it here, friends. It's our trusted chart. I really like these higher low wicks up here. You see this? This is the actual, that's that part of that triangle being formed. That's what it looks like, right? So this is actually insane to see this. I guess we really might be having a left translated cycle, friends. You know, along this, the most important news, so Bitcoin moving up, but now what you're seeing is Ethereum, friends. Ethereum, look at this, man. Ethereum has now flipped the candle back to being green for the month. And of course, you want to have a look at what's happening on the ETH BTC ratio. You see this, friends? This is crazy. Okay. Now, what, what I want to show you as well, shout out to Mr. Camel Finance. I mean, watching him, but I just want to let him know this as well. He doesn't know this. Okay. I'll just tell you right now. Every single Bitcoin maxi has this following chart drawn. Okay. They have basically, they have the Bitcoin dominance like this, and they all believe that the next move is a giant push up. For Bitcoin, as Bitcoin goes to 100K, et cetera, et cetera. That's pretty much what they're drawing. But look, remember, Bitcoin dominance going up is ETH BTC crushing all the way. Look, look it's very possible. It's very possible we get just like a, a, a large amount of stops of, of people short out there, okay? But at the end of the day, I know one thing, right? If we go back, friends, this was, remember, Bitcoin halvening, Bitcoin halvening around May, around, here you go, May 2020, that's it. As soon as Bitcoin halvening was here, it was just up only from that point. That's pretty much ETH BTC. So here we are, Bitcoin halvening again. It's around, you know, April, here we go, uh, approaching it very closely. Maybe we just start seeing things go up. So to remind you, the formula, if, you know, you could pay things back time, um, play it back perfectly, the formula is wait till Bitcoin halvening, go all in on altcoins because Ethereum starts gaining strength against Bitcoin. And when Ethereum starts gaining strength, everything else does too. 
The total crypto market cap industry is at 2.6 trillion as well. We still want to see this. We have to see this flush up. Once we do this, friends, it's pretty much, it's like it's, it's the fun season, but it's like the beginning of the end. It's literally the end at that point. Even though like it's, you'll be waiting this, this whole time for things to get like crazy, right? But that's pretty much it. Now, you know, it's also cool. If you look at the four year fractal, look at this. It's still in line here. It's still in line. We could technically go sideways until August, but that, that's crazy if we actually end up here, friends. By the way, that cycle does not finish here. It finishes much, much, much higher. This is just one point I looked at where just like it kind of looks like it's up because if you keep going, if you actually do the full four year fractal, it goes up to like $400,000. That's nuts. Most important now, right? So I've shown you Ethereum, shown you Bitcoin. Let's look at the slingshot. This is Bitcoin with the others index, friends. This is, this is very, very important too. Okay, our famous slingshot. This is high lows. For this and look the others index is also tracking it as well you see that this is like perfect this is absolutely perfect friends the fact that it's tracking it because it means the floor is raising now it means we're just following we're just following because once these things start disconnecting it's the end it's pretty much the end it's full-on FOMO so why is that it's because the market thinks at that point we've exhausted all the buyers into Bitcoin so everybody just goes to altcoins because what they do is all simultaneously, they say, you know what, Bitcoin, you're high and I'm going to price in your future move now in altcoins. And everybody does that collectively together. That's actually what happens at the end. So, what, for example, we might find, just guessing here, you might find Bitcoin goes up to 90,000 here, right? 90,000 up here. And then this others index follows it as well. But then what happens with Bitcoin, Bitcoin comes back down and then it starts to swoop up back to 85. So what happens, friends, is you might find that these others people this thing goes whoop. Why is that? It's because when Bitcoin is back to 85, people will be saying, hey, from 85 to 100 is not that much of a move. So what I'm going to do is I just may as well buy these altcoins. And the market place collectively, on average, everybody does this together. They don't, they, everything, everyone thinks they're being a genius when they do that, but it's not, it's actually the end. It's literally the end. That's what happens at the end. Everybody thinks they're like, oh, I'm, I'm the smartest cookie here. I'm more intelligent than everybody else. I'm not going to buy this spear and I'm going to go straight for the altcoins and stuff. And guess what? Because it's the end, friends, and it's been bubbling up for a long time, you will see these others index. You'll see it actually flush up and do a big move. So initially they think they're right. That's why they keep piling on and piling on. They're like, yes, we're right, we're right. Keep working, keep working. And it might last like two months, two and a half months, but that's the end. That's the end. You don't come back for a long time. And, you know, we obviously, we don't want that to happen straight away, but it's not up to us, is it? That's why it's possible, as we said, that maybe there's a June rate cut, maybe. Maybe the US Fed friends, don't worry about these macro talks, but if it coincides with everything and things are going euphoric, you pretty much get to see how it all happened in real time, okay? We want to see a disconnect. We want to see this Bitcoin doing a lower high at the very, very end, and then this thing doing a higher high. So as I mentioned here, Cray, just to <clears throat> just to throw it out here, the market is awaiting Bitcoin to clear this big triangle zone. Yeah, most people believe that next stop is 90k. Okay, I saw, you know, Sir Ivan the Grey, Mr. Camel Finds, pretty, pretty much everybody, a lot, pretty much almost everyone. A lot of people just be like, yeah, next stop 90k. It's kind of crazy, right? What's going on? But I bet if you ask everybody now, what do you think is more likely, 90 or 50? Everyone will now say 90. It was crazy at the bottom, friends. When Bitcoin was at 65K, I did a poll. 65K, I go, what comes next? 55 or 75? And everyone said 55. <laughs> and now we're back up to 72. So we've come back up. So, oh man, it's crazy. Now, this is also alarming, right? The S&P 500 stock market has done one of the most aggressive rallies of its whole life. And I'm going to show you this visually represented right here. Do you see this green arrow, friends? This part, look at this. This is the S&P 500 rally. This is today. And the green line is the average bullish year. The average bullish year, look at the black line. That's the average year. Look where we are right now. And this is the average bearish year. So as you can see, this rally so far, that's the reason why Bitcoin has actually broken the high. Not to do with the Bitcoin halving, but isn't it spooky, man? You're like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that the stock market had the best year at the same time as Bitcoin halvening at the same time in the four year cycle at this, yeah, man, it's, isn't it crazy? It's spooky. Yeah. But the stock market is the big daddy of Bitcoin, but isn't it just crazy, man? Like why this year? Why couldn't the stock market do it last year? Well, I don't know, man, these things just line up. <clears throat> it kind of reminds you though of cycles, friends, doesn't it? Because it's all liquidity cycles. That's pretty much it. Thank you to Raul Powell for, um, 
for showing us all these these charts. Basically, it's four year cycles from the government's friends. That's what they do. There's, there's, literally, it's just four year cycles, like two years up, two years down. That's what they do. They they accelerate these. That, that that's Keynesian economics, by the way. That's what they do. They they get the cycle boosted, but then when it goes up, they start pulling back, cutting rates. They do stuff. They just pull back in the background, just because they, the governments they just never want a big bubble. Because that's why all the economists they basically started the Great Depression. They're like, look, the only way for us to not have a Great Depression is we can never let the good times get that good. Because when you do that, everybody gets trapped. Because people keep going linear, linear. They, we keep guessing that the next year is going to be better and better and everyone gets trapped, okay? So this is kind of spooky though. I mean, you have left translated cycle predictions with the stock market doing the biggest year. That's pretty much what it's doing. It's way ahead of schedule. What's going to happen next? Look, but it just, it adds to the case that we get a left translated Bitcoin move. And just to remind you what that would look like from here, it would be some sort of, we peak Literally, we just go nuts. Like literally, by the end of this year, we have gone nuts. That's the left translated cycle. And then this is November 2026. We bottom back here. So that's that's pretty much it. A long two years going down. However, if we were to get a normal cycle, a normal one, it would be somewhere in like, yeah, we would peak up here pretty much. You see that that distance? That's the distance. So instead of so you basically everyone gets paid at the end of this year when we're meant to get paid in a year from now. All right, that's pretty much it. And then you'd bottom out around here anyway. Okay, so that's pretty much why it's left translated. And look, philosophically, you kind of know why, right? Everyone knows about the four-year cycle. Everyone's here, all the programming and everyone. It just, yeah, so it makes sense. But at the end of the day, we're still waiting, still turbo long. Remember, we had a 1,000 reasons to exit, but we just stayed long. Now, I found this very fascinating, okay? There's a poll, friends. We did a poll. So Johnny Chaos from the Hex community and Eric Wall. There's some sort of bet. Okay, where Johnny basically bet him, he goes, I think, now I don't know the real number, he either bet him Hex will hit 5 cents or 15 cents before Bitcoin hits 100k and the loser has to shave his head. Now, Eric, friends, this is, look, let me tell you something, right? Eric, dear Eric, um, he, I think he's a bit too euphoric now. Eric, just letting you know. Because guess what, friends, Eric's head's already shaved. I know you don't believe me. That's it. Now, I don't know if it's a recent post. I don't know if it's a recent post and like he's trolling everybody, um, you know, because it was an April Fool's recently. I don't know. But like, yeah, he he did make a bet. I, I remember this thing. I remember his ETH BTC bet. He bet that ETH BTC would be higher. I mean, I don't blame him. I thought it'd be higher by now as well. I think he lost that. I think that's what it was. But Eric lost his what? Yeah, I've got it here. So Eric Eric lost his what? Bet on the ETH BTC. So he shaved his head. When Pulse Chain hits Pulse... That's right. We got another bet, friends. So when Pulse hits... 10x above day one sack. He will receive permanent friendship status, PF, right? Population one in the friendship cult. And he has to befriend me forever. He's also got to declare publicly that we are friends. He's actually got to do that, okay? <laughs> It'll be funny. So, so you're probably wondering like, hey, how come Somi said he's too euphoric? Look, man, Eric, Eric's head's already shaved. You know what that means, friends? Just think about it. That means you are so cocky in your predictions that you've just been handing out bets everywhere. He's basically, he's on tilt now. No, 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 not tilt on about it. He's just getting too cocky. He's playing too sloppy. He's got, oh, he got a five and three off suit playing poker. Ah, and he's still bet. He should have he folded. You know, you know what I mean? Like that type of stuff. Getting a bit too comfortable. I wonder if that's a sign, you know, as, as a sign that this bet actually works out for Johnny, right? Hex hitting, you know, 15 cents before Bitcoin hits 100K. I also thought it'd be funny if Bitcoin goes to 90 and then everyone thinks 100's next, but then we don't get the left translated cycle. Remember friends, markets are a moving target. They're a moving target. You don't just get this, oh, what's it gonna play? Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. You don't get a scenario where like uh, markets step up and the crowd expects much, much higher and then we go there and then the crowd expects much, much higher and then we go there. It does not happen like that. People start pricing things in. It's always, a, it's always moving and chaotic, okay? So that'll be interesting, right? Loser has to shave his head. I wonder if Johnny has to shave his head and join Eric, that'll be funny. Now, today, there's been a slight pump in the original ecosystem. It's not. I mean, like, look at this wee, wee, wee little candle. But, friends, I mean, you've been watching me every single day. Every single day. How many times have we gone to? Literally daily. I told you. Like, like literally, like an atomic clock. Every day, we check. Okay, we've thrusted up from the weekly super trend. Okay, we thrusted up. Okay, this is a weekly chart. We thrusted up. And this is the first pullback into the 21 EMA. This is, like, the launching zone. Now, just to protect yourself, that's why you don't do leverage. If this goes down, oh man, it's going to be poopy town, isn't it? However, most of the times what we've seen is this thing becomes the launching pad and that's it. You're pretty much done. You're literally, you're done with this whole zone. 
fully it. That's it. And like, it makes sense, right? It's been a freaking year. Like you've literally had a whole year, all these circumstances, everything has come out for you to accumulate. There's a thing though to think about. Uh, the the total Richard Hart ecosystem is about 4 billion valuation. It's about rank 22. I know everyone believes, oh, okay, it should be rank like one. I know you, everyone says they have their own coin, but based on the daily users, it doesn't seem like it's unfairly valued once you add them all up as one coin, okay? It, it doesn't seem like, okay, we should... um we should uh, be like, you know, rank five, maybe rank five in the bull market. Okay. So what I can show you now is just all the rankings here. So if we go down, where would about four be, you know, four would be around here, around the Arbitrum. So that's crazy. That's Arbitrum, but Arbitrum has, it's Arbitrum. That's not the real market cap for Arbitrum friends. You got to look at they're fully diluted. Okay. So they're fully diluted for Arbitrum friends is it's 15 billion. Okay. So that's not the true measure. So if we continue as well, okay, we have Arbitrum here. Dog with hat is 4.2 billion. So I don't know where you think this, like where where should actually Richard Hart's coins be? So you might say, wait a minute, you found something, Kraptos. You go, oh, we should be higher than Kraptos. Here's the problem, friends. We were higher than Kraptos just like a month or two ago. So it's just like we're just another 50% higher. And now you flipped Kraptos. Okay, so you're like, oh, okay, 50% higher. You're at fair value now. That's Pulse Chain 1.5 times day one sack. That's PulseX not even at day one sack. You understand? That's like, that's crazy. Okay, so where do you think we should flip? Are we better than Polygon Matic? So if you want to do, if you want to just check it out, are you better than Matic, friends? Like, of course, friends, yes. Technically better than Matic, but based off the users, right? That's where it is. So Matic's fully diluted is 9.4 billion. So look, <clears throat> we love the ecosystem. There's a lot of cheap altcoins, a lot of amazing stuff. But how unfairly valued are you at this point if you add all of them up? Look, if you go to singular coin valuations, okay, now it's different, but like it does, it's not up to me and you. The marketplace is item, adding them all up themselves. It's, it is what it is, okay? When people are coming in, friends, they're not going, oh, I just want Pulse. It's I want Pulse and Pulse X and Inc and stuff, okay? When you go and join Matic, you're not joining Matic and saying, oh, I want these 15 coins of Matic. I want these four core coins of Matic. No, no, no you're just joining Matic. Same as BNB. You don't even know their ecosystems pretty much. So how unfairly valued would it be and how much... Hi, could it be? Look, if it was up to me, friends, this is pretty much it. I think we should be around Chainlink. I think around Chainlink, which is about, it's about 2.5x from here. So that would be about rank 17 to 2.5x. That would be around day one sack for Pulsex, which I know I know a lot of people saying, well, that is nowhere near what expensive is. I know that, but we're just moving things to fair value valuation. Maybe the repricing higher comes after Ethereum pumps up even more. So that's pretty much it. Okay, you're looking at it. Because Chainlink, friends, you know, it has adoption and all these other stuff listed everywhere. How much higher can Pulse Chain go? Now, here's the thing. How do you actually get the high valuations? Well, you go to the daily active users, okay? So you can go to website, apphex.win, and I'll show you. It's a wonderful chart. So shout out to the gentleman who makes his chart. Thank you very much. So this is the price history. Friends, everybody's been watching these total active wallets. Don't look at these total active wallets, okay? It's a complete waste of time. Total active wallets, people are just spamming wallets and stuff here and there for bots, creation, all these. That is not an indication of, of health, okay? The real health is the daily active wallets. Look how low it is, okay? You see it's it's 13,500. And this is the full chart here now. You can see at the start, man, we had 50,000 daily people. People came in to just dump and look, it's hit 36,000 here. So you have these little spikes here and there, just people moving, but you, just the average price. So we are down to 13, 14,000. You see that? Makes sense, right? It makes sense. So for you to just, you can't just tell people, oh, we're great, we're great, we're great. No, 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 you gotta get those daily users up. Daily users. That, for layer one chains is what I've noticed. You can go check it yourself. Everybody's daily active wallets goes up, but the daily users, for some reason, right? Even if they're bots and stuff, the daily users, as that climbs up, the price is climbing up with it. So that's where we wanna be now. You might compare Pulse Chain to Corridanza. Remember, Pulse Chain has like 13 or 15, let's just say 15,000 daily active users, okay? Where is Corridanza on this? Corridanza, friends, is a 21 billion valuation. So you can see where Pulse Chain is today and you think, okay, should we flip Corridanza? That's 21 billion. That would be about, about a 5X from here. So... Yes. Do we have as much network effect as Corridanzo, Charles Hoskinson? We might. We probably do. I know Charles, Richard Hart's hate. We're hated, but I think we do have as much of a, of a network effect around there. Okay. So that would be a 5X. That would be, you know, depending on the ratios, you don't know. Yeah. But if everything just stayed the same, that'd be Pulse at 5X day one sack. You would have Pulse X at around two and a half. 
around two two x day on two x day one sack, and then you'd have hex at around five cents, five to seven cents. Everything's staying the same. So that pretty much now you flipped Cardanzo land, and you got to wait for it Ethereum repricing. Also, want to give you special mention at the end, friends. I might make another video on this one too. So there are many pulse chain altcoins on a dip. So HOA, poor pleb. I can't even list them all, friends. I just just to let you know. Once you see my post, just so you know, share with your defensive family. If I tag one coin or two, trust me, I want to tag 50. The problem is, if I keep tagging them, okay, Twitter penalizes me. And you can't even see them probably. There's too much blue and stuff here and there. And your brain can't even, uh, can't do anything. So time to time, I'll be like, oh yeah, that was the one I did yesterday. But it doesn't mean they're more important than anything else. Do you understand? So we still love Dick with Butt. We still love Teddy Bear. We still love P-Dye, Atropa. Because they're all still there. Also, they just, you can't go through thousands and thousands. But the beautiful part is, man, we're in a bull market. I love this. I love, oh, I'm so overwhelmed. Which one? Which one? That's what you want, man. Remember in 2022, it's like, oh my God, everything's a minefield. I don't even want to touch anything right now. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you the HOA chart. And this is it right here. Now, this is the HOA USD chart. But you can see, friends, look, it's done this. Like 68% drop, rally. 55% drop, rally. Look at this, 71% drop. That's where we are right now. So I don't do, like, I'm not, I'm not a friend. I'm not, I'm not here, like, be a shot caller and stuff here. I'm just showing you, yeah, there's a really nice pattern. Also, shout out to Mr. Tangent out there, Tangent from the Tang Gang as well, for, for actually bringing up this chart. Just to, he drew these nice lines, okay? It made it really, really look nice. And so I knew this thing was stepping up, but I was like, wow, this looks pretty cool. And he just, he started measuring it. I'm like, oh, wow, we're actually deeper than deepest dip, but also because he pumped up the most. So I'll show you that chart quickly, friends. This is that HOA chart, but if you change it to the PLS chart, I mean, it basically looks the same. Okay, it looks the same here. You see what I mean? And this is a log chart, okay? Like my target, I mean, you could go up here. This is this is against Pulse. So <clears throat> just let you know, right? HOA Tangang, this is like the core of the universe. Got many universe coins. Dick with butt is in there. We, we, we love more friends. There's also this fruit and this rat and this pear and all these. You can throw whatever you want in there. Thing is, they're all leverage on Pulse. You understand? They're all leverage on Pulse. And what I really like is, Tang Gang friends, HOA, Hex Orange Address, is only like three to four million market cap. And I'm just looking at, friends, I'm in the Telegram, in the community, they're buzzing, it's so active. There's memes everywhere. This type of activity, I'm not kidding, man. I'm not joking. Like, if Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic 10 Inu, if that can get to like, I forgot what that peaked at, friends. I think that peaked at almost 200 million market cap. It's about 100 million now. I, I've got a feeling that'll be 1 billion one day. If that can get to 1 billion, I'm just saying, why can't Tangang be 200 million? One fifth of that. This is how aggressive they are. It's so good, right? In the Tangang, everybody loves orange juice, right? So, by the way, that, that's a 50x from today. That's a 50x from today. You might think, how do we get 50x from today? I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe Pulse does a 10, and then this does a 5x multiplier on that. So that is, so friends, if if this does a, this, this is a 5x, right? This is a 5x right here. There you go. That's see this 400% move. That's just a 5x. Okay. That's what it looks like on this chart. That's what it looks like. Okay. So if this is up here, effectively, what it says is you beat pulse times five. And we might find by that point in time that pulse did a 10x. It's now 10x above day one sack. Eric Wall has confirmed friendship. So you go, oh, you beat it by five. So five times 10 is your 50. There you go. That's your HOA going from 4 million to 200 million market cap. Now, of course, warning, warning, warning. Everything can go to zero. Everything can rug or sort. If you don't know this by now, friends, of course, just warning, warning, warning. Everything, this is totally risky. We don't know. You never know. But I'm just, you could tell it. You kind of tell me. Just in there every day. They're refusing to give up. They're refusing to give up. Everyone's in there. Everyone's cheery. Everyone's active. It's just like, you know, they're going places. Everywhere. You know, the whole ecosystem's going places. And yeah, it complements the PDI, the Tropa ecosystem as well. They're moving, it's tandem friends. So that's why I, I love it. It's, it's the greatest thing ever. They move They move separately. That's how you know Pulse Chain itself is undervalued, by the way. This is like, it's a, you have communities in here that are moving separately to the speed. Do you, that's unheard of. You, you can't get that in a small ecosystem. For example, is there like a BNB chain coin absolutely pumping right now? There might be, there might be, and that's probably the strength of BNB. It's just like we don't know them right now, okay? So you've learned almost too much today, friends. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, and all. Catch you soon.